Good morning. It's pretty early. I'm trying to be quiet because we've got the twins and they're still sleeping. And I don't want to wake them up yet. But uh, I wanted to show you something that I pulled out of the garden yesterday. A couple of years ago, I harvested a watermelon and on the inside of the watermelon, it was actually a pumpkin. So it had cross pollinated and I had posted that video to YouTube and I had a ton of people that were messaging me and telling me that cross pollination was not a thing that I clearly planted a pumpkin and didn't know what I was doing. And, um, I do know what I'm doing and I know I planted a pumpkin or a watermelon. I didn't even plant pumpkins that year, but it so happened I had a volunteer pumpkin come up way over by the apple trees and I think that's how it cross-pollinated because I didn't even plant pumpkins that year. So a couple years after that I had a butternut squash that was green and butternut squash is a beautiful um, mustardy gold color and shaped like a bowling pin just so if you're wondering what a butternut squash is. So this year I planted uh, acorn squash and butternut squash because um, if you know me and you've seen my garden, you know I can't grow just one kind. I mean, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Who grows just one kind? So um, I planted my acorn squash and I've been getting these beautiful acorn squash and they're tasty. We've been having these for a couple weeks now. And I planted my butternut squash, which is right here. It's not supposed to be green. It never is green. It doesn't even start out green. They start out a very pale, uh, creamy yellow color, and they end in this really pretty gold, dark gold color. This is completely ripe. And the way you can tell it's ripe is you can stick your thumbnail into the skin, and if the and if it doesn't break through, then it's ripe. It's ready. So I did cut one open because all of my butternut squash are gold. Or, um, I'm sorry, they're green. They're supposed to be gold. But all of my butter, butternut squash are green this year. So I cut one open just to see what it's like on the inside. It's just a beautiful squash. It's, um, who knows if this is going to taste more like acorn squash or more like butternut squash. It smells good. Yummy. I'm going to cook that up for supper tonight. But it's just, I mean, it's, uh, it looks like butternut squash on the inside. So we'll see. I clearly I'm not gonna save seeds from this because you well it's not gonna grow another green squash like this. It's gonna grow one of the two parent squash. It's gonna either grow to be acorn squash or it's gonna grow to be butternut squash. I'm not gonna get some fun green butternut squash every year. It's not gonna happen. You'll get one of the two parent plants, but I won't save seeds from these. Um, it's not worth it. But I just thought I would sh share this with you because. Um, cross-pollination is a thing don't let anybody tell you different and to the ones who were messaging me being nasty about cross-pollination isn't a thing you know who you are it actually is a thing have a good day guys and remember the more you know the more you grow